Ever wonder why the Joker laughs so much? It's not just because he's a criminal mastermind. He's got a secret weapon laughing gas. Laughing gas, also known as nitrous oxide, is a colorless, odorless gas. Chemically, it's composed of two nitrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Historically, it was first used in dentistry for its anesthetic properties. When inhaled, it induces a state of euphoria and pain relief. This is why it's often called laughing gas. How does laughing gas work its magic on the brain? It targets neurotransmitters like GABA and glutamate, which play key roles in our mood and alertness. GABA promotes relaxation while glutamate keeps us alert. Laughing gas boosts GABA activity, making us feel calm and relaxed. At the same time, it reduces glutamate activity, which lowers anxiety. The result? Euphoria and uncontrollable laughter. Okay, so laughing gas can make you happy and giggly. But can it really drive you insane like the Joker's concoction? The Joker's gas is a fictional creation designed to induce uncontrollable laughter and madness. Laughing gas, while capable of inducing temporary euphoria, lacks the potency to cause such drastic and permanent alterations to one's mental state. Could Joker gas really make you go mad? The Joker, one of Batman's most infamous foes, is known for his maniacal laughter and chaotic schemes. But what if his notorious Joker gas was real? Could it actually drive someone to madness? The science says, not quite. While nitrous oxide can induce a state of euphoria and uncontrollable laughter, it doesn't have the capability to transform someone's personality or mental state permanently. Enjoy the brief euphoria, and remember, true madness can't be bottled.